Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we are going to solve lead group of MADI 2843 count symmetric integer. It's an easy question based on enumeration and asked in companies like uh, Google, Amazon, and Apple. Let's have a look on the problem statement. Here we are given two positive integer, low and high. And they are saying that an integer x consisting 2 into n digits, 2 into n, it is showing us that even number of digits is symmetric if the sum of first n digit of x is equal to the sum of last n digit of x. If it is even, just divide into two half, first half, second half, sum of all the digits in the first half, sum of all the digits in the second half should be equal. If that is true, the number is called symmetric. Number with the odd number of digits are never symmetric. So if the number of digits are odd, so you can directly ignore it, no need to check it. Then return the total number of symmetric integer in the range from low to high. This is our problem statement. Only two integer will be given to us, low and high, and we have to return total number of symmetric integer within this range, both inclusive, low and high. Also, the constraints are given like value of low and high will be from 1 to 10 is power 4. It means it will go till 10,000 okay now let's try to understand with the help of an example let's take the first example here the low value is 1 and high value is 100 and we have to count the number of symmetric integer between uh, 1 not between including 1 and 100 within this range so let's say if I take 1 2 3 4 till 9 See, I'm not going to consider these numbers. Why? Because they are having odd number of digits. Odd number of digits. So starting with 10, yeah, starting with 10, I'm having even number of digits. And till 99, I'm having even number of digits. So I can get answers from this range. And they are saying that the symmetric integer is something. It is having 2 into n digits. n digits in the first half and digits in the second half. So if the digit is 2, it means value of n is 1. So 1 digit on the left half, 1 digit on the left right half. So if it is only 1 digit, and I want to make sum equal to uh, left sum equal to right sum, then definitely both the digits are same. So if it is 2 digit number, then definitely there is only one possibility. The left digit and right digit are same. Like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, till 99. So the answer for the first example would be 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 55, 66, 77, 88, and 99. There won't be any other possibility. Why? Because digits are even here and uh, there is only one digit. So the sum of one item is equal to sum of another item. It means both items are same. 2 into n digits are there, n digit in the second half, n digit in the second half, and 2 into n is equal to 2 in this case. So definitely value of n is 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So 1 on the left side, 1 on the right side, both should be equal. That is the only case. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is something we are uh, doing by just looking at the range, but we have to do it programmatically. So first example have an answer equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 will be the answer. If I have a look on the range, which is having a range from 1200 to 1230, we are coming to the second example. Here in the second example, yes, 1200, this is even. So yeah, we can have our uh, number, this symmetric number inside this range. From 1200 to 1230, both inclusively, we have to find our symmetric number. See, um, these are four digits only. If these are four digits, I just need to know what are the values at the last two digits and what are the values at the left two digits, right? So if I just pick any two digit number, one, two, one, two, let's say. What is the value at the rightmost digit? That is 2. By just taking the middle of with 10. And then divide equal to 10. Remove this digit. 
then if I just take a modulo with 10, I will be give, getting second last digit. So two, two digit we have already covered. I'm considering the fact that I am going to have only four digit number. So two digit we are able to get using these operations. And what about the left two digits? See what, what I can do is like, um, I can directly take modulus of 10. It was one to one to at this moment. And then it became one to one at this moment. And it is still one to one at this moment. So I just divide equal to 10. It has become one to and now if I take the modulus, it will give me two again. And if I just divide equal to 10, it will become one. And then if I take modulus with 10, it will give me one. So by checking the modulo operator, we can get the digits, right? Why I'm checking the modulo operator? Because the number can be of any, any length. See, uh, there is one condition given to us that the high value will go till 10 per hour. And the low value will go till 100. So the range is not too big. Let's try to calculate the number of number of uh, uh, sp symmetric numbers within this range. 1200 and 1230. See, both uh, are having left portion 12. So definitely all the numbers in this range will have a de left portion which is equal to 12. So the right portion should have sum of digit equal to 3. It can be 0, 3, 3, 0, 1, 2, 2, 1. These are the four portion options only we have. So four will be the answer of this example. But uh, in these example, we are just act calculating it manually. How do I programmatically do it? Let's take the range itself. Low value is starting with one and high value is starting with four. This is the biggest range we can have. And if I just try to uh, generalize the formula on this biggest range, we'll be able to cover it up for all the ranges between these, between these low and high values. So if I just have a look, it is starting with one digit. And we already know from one to nine, we are not going to calculate. Why? Because we are having odd number of digit. And we require two into n number of digits in our number. So 2 into n is even. And if we are having odd number of digits, just directly discard it. So there is no need to check for any number less than 10. We can only check for a number greater than or equal to 10. We can also skip 10 because we already know that this is not a symmetric number, but let's include it. Greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 99. So from 1 to 9, we can directly discard it. Then the second range is from 10 to 99. In this range, we are having two digit numbers. If it is two digit number, two into n is equal to two, n is equal to one, left portion is having one digit, right portion is having one digit. If there is only one digit and some need to be equal, definitely both the digits should be same. If both the digits should be same, it will, it is definitely from 11 to 99 or 2 to 3, 3, 4, 4. All of these are multiple of 11, right? It means if I take modulus with 11, I'm going to get zero. 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99. Okay. So this is something we got. Now till 100, we have our answer. Now let's say the next range can be starting with 100 and going less than or equal to 999. See, this range is also having odd number of digit. If it is having odd number of digit, just discard it. I'm, I'm discarding it. First portion I discarded. Second portion is uh, having two number of digits. That is, that should be multiple of 11. Third portion is discarding because it is having odd number of digits. And what can be the third, fourth portion? Greater than or equal to 1000 and less than 1, 2, 3, 4, less than 10,000. See, uh, less than 10,000, 10,000 is not a, not a valid answer. We already know. So if I just do it like this, less than equal to nine, 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 we are covering all the four digit number. We are covering all the four digit number. So for four digit number, 
first two digit sum should be equal to second two digit sum and digits we can directly check what is the rightmost digit and just delete the rightmost digit by checking the magnitude at the rightmost digit we can just take a modulo with 10 and then if i have taken that digit just discard it discarding we can done by just removing it okay so this is the final range 9999 and after that there is only one number left which is 10 to the power 4 and this is all definitely not a not a symmetric number we we already know so here we got an idea that we can generalize our formula based on this condition firstly if the number is less than 10 directly skip it or don't even write the condition so we we need to capture only two type of integers if this is from this type this is one type and second type is this is from this range this is the second type so here the number should be of uh, any of the two types if it is from first type just take just check whether the modulus with 11 is 0 or not because we know the number should be 11 22 33 99 so this is the condition for first scope and for second scope we have to check whether the first two digit sum is equal to second two digit sum and we have to do it manually let me give you an example let's say 1 2 1 2 is there again and um, it is having four digits so it will always be having four digit so we can directly man manually write right uh, write our formula so for the four digit write two digit on the left side two digit on the right side for the right two digit, digit modulus with 10 i'm getting rightmost digit and then uh, i will just take divide with 10 after taking divide with 10 the number has become 1 to 1 now if i take modulus with 10 i will be getting 1 and then i will be dividing equal to 10 now the number is 12 so the same process i can repeat for the sec is for two more times and i will get 1 and 2 and while calculating i can just get this term so if it is equal to just answer plus plus so here what is the time goes time complexity two digit number no operation four digit number four operations so in these four operations we can consider as a constant so uh, the time complexity will be linear in this case and the space complexity i am not taking any extra space so this will be our case like we just have to analyze that these two cases with odd number of digits we have to discard and there we have only two scope of digits firstly mm -hmm. Two digits secondly uh, four digits in the case okay now let's write the code i hope you understood the approach first of all we will be going from low to high let's say let's take a variable to capture the answer answer is equal to zero for index equal to uh low and idx let's say idx less than equal to high idx plus plus this is our number and uh, i just need to manu manipulate that number so i'm just taking another variable int and num is equal to idx okay now there are two possibilities if num from the first category which is if num is greater than equal to 10 or let's just take directly greater than 10 and num is less than 99 two digit number if it is a two digit number i'm going to capture in the answer answer plus equal to num modulus uh, 11 equal to equal to zero if that is the case or oh, let me write it very in a very simple manner if my condition is something like this num modulo 11 equal to equal to zero then answer plus plus otherwise i don't have to do anything then that is the else if case in else if case the number should be of four digit num greater than one triple zero and num less than equal to nine 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 we also need to consider 99 here as well so from 1000 to trip four nines i will just check what are what is the sum of first two digit uh, for that let's say the uh, first portion and second portion first portion is equal to num modulus 10 
and num divide equal to 10 and again second uh, digit i'm just going to capture first plus equal to num modulus 10 and then num divide equal to 10 so far we have captured the sum of the rightmost two, two digits right two digits and our number is something like this left two digit is left rightmost digit just remove the rightmost digit second rightmost digit just remove the second rightmost digit two digits we have removed from the uh, right portion and we can easily capture second portion second is equal to num modulus 10 and just delete this as well and second plus equal to num modulus 10 it is it is only one digit and so you can also skip this modulo and there is no need to delete it just to remove this processing if first is equal to equal to second so guys this is up totally up to you whether you want to figure out the sum of the first two digit and the last last two digit just taking the modulus with 100 you are going to have if the if you take the modulus with uh, 100 you are going to have rightmost two digit two digit and then uh, then you can calculate the sum so guys it's totally up to you whether you want to figure out the sum of first two digits second two digits and you can either take modulo with 100 so you are you are only you are directly going to get first two digit and then you can take the sum it's totally up to you so uh, you just need to know that how we get the digit out of the number by just using the modulo operator if the first and second is same then again i'm going to increment my answer other and in the end i have to return my answer so these are the only two cases we are having and uh, we have captured both the cases let's see if it is working fine on sample test cases or not i have put the return statement in the wrong place so return statement should be here sample test cases are passed i'm submitting the problem it was submitted successfully i hope you understood the approach it's a easy problem but ask in companies like google amazon so worth doing it thank you guys Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.